If you're wondering if you can make a pulled pork in the Ninja wood fire, you can, and in a fraction of the time compared to traditional smoking. Seriously though, this only took five hours. I'm astounded at that. I'm I can't so believe that. Shock. Pulled pork in five hours? I wouldn't believe it if I didn't do it myself. I think I just spat at you. <laughs> okay, that's how excited pulled pork. you are. Okay, wow. Well. <laughs> yeah, I literally oh. was like, pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> Is it on me? Okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is a massive slab of pork shoulder. Okay, so this one you can see is bone out. So I'm flipping back this flap here. That's where the bone used to be. Okay. Okay, so we're going in with a, a, just a traditional yellow ballpark mustard because that is what's going to bind the rub to the meat. So if you're wondering, is that gonna taste like mustard? I don't like mustard. We promise you won't taste it at all. You want to make sure you're getting all the nooks and crannies. I see you're doing it. A lot of nooks and crannies. When the, when the, when you have your butcher remove the bone, it ends up being a lot of flaps, a lot of nooks, a lot of crannies. You got to make sure, and I like that you're getting the top too. Okay, but wait. So I started doing the top. I put mustard in the top and I was like, you know what, that's a lot of fat. I wanna take that, I wanna like trim off some of that fat as opposed to if I just left that on, I would just have removed the fat once the pork came off the smoker, which I normally do, but I'm like, I just wanna like take that off like entirely. And a lot of it gets rendered off anyway. So exactly. if you think that you're like, oh, I'll leave it on because it'll add more flavor, it doesn't. It ends up just getting in the bottom of the, of the grill. Plus, I don't know about you if you've ever done this before, taking off fat, there, it's like, it feels good just slicing your way down the fat like that. It's slightly concerning. <laughs> Okay, so we're seasoning with Uncle Steve. This is one of our favorite brands of rubs. If you don't know Uncle Steve, go check him out because I feel like everybody should know Uncle Steve. Mm -hmm. And just make sure you're getting all the nooks and crannies. We like to season heavily when we're smoking any kind of meat because that's a thick slab of meat. Think about it, that, that seasoning needs to penetrate into the meat. So for pulled pork, you can do a seasoning that has sugar in it. This one didn't. Oh, this it didn't? This one didn't because I don't like doing that because then the bark starts to get too dark. <laughs> and yeah, you'll see, I was sneezing, I was coughing because this has a lot of black pepper in it. That's and me. it was getting up in the nostrils. Me every single time I sneeze with the rubs. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and I always do that when I'm when I'm like, Rock on. Yeah, when I'm seasoning, I don't know why, after you just gotta give it one of these. Okay, so it's cold out there too. Careful not to slip down those stairs, honey. Yeah, I almost did. I almost did. I don't wanna take a tumble out there. So I began to set up my smoker here. So we're cooking this on the Ninja Wood Fire Grill. And then I noticed, I'm like, what? Wait a second. What is happening here? What's stuck up there? The grill grate was stuck to the top because remember my last cook I made, I made those scalloped potatoes and we all know what happened with those. So, so when that happened, I forgot after I took the scalloped potatoes in, I was like, um, whatever, I'll do You're like, that's next time's problem. Yeah, and then all of a sudden it's next time and I'm like, why is this stuck to the top? And I was like, oh, this is gonna set me back. How the heck am I gonna get this off? So I go back in the house, I find these little like silicone scraper things and I'm like, let's just see if like that'll do it. And you know what? It, it started off? to crust off quite easily. Like, huh. look at it. It was just coming off like nice and easily. And I was like, all right, this is going to do it. It's okay. Don't worry about it. So maybe letting it cook on there was a good thing. Yeah. It like that. It like made it into a dust that adhered to the top. But then the, that silicone thing just got it right off. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I was quite irritated by that extra step though. <laughs> it was cold. It was irritating. So you're using pellets for this smoke or for this cook, obviously. You wanna make sure that you're using, if it's a pulled pork, you gotta have some wood fire flavor. Of course. I love that when you set it to smoker, it's already at the proper temperature, 250. Wood fire button's already on there, but I didn't trust the four hours. I'm like, this is a pulled pork. This is gonna take, traditionally, this would take around eight to 10 hours. So I'm like, I'm gonna put on um, an hour and a half extra. So I went five, 530. Just in case, just to yes. give yourself some leeway. Yeah. Because if you don't, we've learned this the hard way. If you don't give yourself some leeway, it'll get to the end of what you've set it to, and it'll be like, bye. Yeah. And you're like, but not bye. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> 
Just because something that takes five hours, unless you want to go to the preheat again, set it for a little bit longer. Yeah, why not? Why did it's not hurting you to set it for a little bit longer? No, unless you want it to turn off because you want to be doing something else and not paying attention to it. Exactly. Which is why I think they do it. I prefer to not see by. Buy scares buy me. Buy scares me because I'm like, no, then I'm going to go for the, pr the preheat process all over again. So we're putting the meat onto the smoker. That fit on there perfectly. That's a really flat pork shoulder. I think because the bone, it was boneless. So do you think if you had a more round one with the bone in, it would still fit in there? It would definitely still fit. So at, here it is after an hour later. I had to check it after an hour. And I will be honest, I checked it every hour on the hour after that because I had to. I didn't get any footage of that because it looked all very similarly. But then after five hours, check out this bark. Wow, that looks incredible. I brought it up to 196 temperature wise. So usually we like to bring it up to around 200, but there is gonna be some residual heat once you get it off and you wrap it. Now, are you lying or were you just tired and wanting to get this off? I You're just like, I'm exhausted, and it's cold. And, and it was dark already. Like, look, I had the light on because it was like dark already out there. Mm -hmm. But if it still shreds at that point, why wait any longer? So we bring it in and then I like to wrap it in tin foil for the resting process because that just helps it juice up a little bit even more and again adds to the um, simplicity of shredding it after. You don't have to tear at it. It's just going to shred so gently and so delicately. The moisture gets stuck in there and then it does help. It definitely helps. It keeps it nice and moist. <gasps> Look at it. So I Look let at it that. So I let it sit for about half an hour. That's all I could wait for. And look at how tender it looks. You're not gonna notice any smoke ring because you don't get a smoke ring with the Ninja Wood Fire, but did it taste smoky? To me, it tasted exactly as if I were cooking it on the Traeger. So it's, it's very similar to other pellet style grills. There isn't a charcoal vibe. It's very similar to other pellet smokers, like just say like a Traeger Ranger or like the Traeger Ironwood that we have. So it's subtly smoky. Yes, but it's there and it tastes delicious. It's not too much. Mm -hmm. And it does smell very smoky as well. Whenever I'm shredding meat, my little grilling buddy, little Ricky, is always around. He can sense it and smell it from anywhere he is in the house, so I had to share with him. Okay, I saw this pizza footage coming in hot and I'm like, did we just skip to a new video? What's happening? But you're making a pulled pork pizza. Yes, because I'm not, you can eat pulled pork on a bun, you can eat it on its own. My way to enjoy it is on a pizza. And you Ooh. can see, I ain't messing around with the amount of pulled pork on there. That looks good. I feel like that would be really good dipped in some hot mustard. Ooh. Yeah. You feeling me on that one? Oh, I was feeling you on it. That looks incredible. Look how easy that was. A five hour whole pork shoulder. It doesn't get easier and quicker than that. And that's all because of the Ninja Wood Fire Grill. If you're looking for other cuts of meat that traditionally take a long time to smoke, but are a lot faster in the Ninja Wood Fire, check out our beef rib video. You're gonna love that one. I still can't get over that one. I, it's like mind blowing. The Even the pork ribs. Go look at that one too while you're at it. That's a good one. <laughs>